Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. I just unboxed the new Bitdeer Seal Miner A2. This is a 228 terahash model. Apparently it does around 3730 watts. I will verify that at the wall. Hopefully it's not like Bitmain where depending on your environment it's probably going to use a lot more power but We'll verify that as I turn this on in this video. But thank you to CryptoMinerBros.com for sending me this new BitDeer Seal Miner A2. First impression, I think this is powder coated. Yeah, looking at the top here, you guys can see, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it's definitely painted or powder coated. Gray color, okay, it's not like Bitmain models where they're you know, not painted, it's just this aluminum, which easily gets scratched, but I'm assuming uh, this one might get scratched as well, depending if you're having it host or not. Anyways, Seal Miner. Okay, so Seal Miner, uh, the manufacturer Bitdeer, I believe they acquired Dezoe Miner back last year in 2024. So this does resemble the Dezoe Miner back last year, and look, it has the ethernet on this side. Normally ethernet on most ASIC miners is in the middle, so I think the control board is gonna look a little bit different from like Bitmain models, which I wanna open up the Seal Miner A2. So yeah, other first impressions. I mean, yeah, this is a size of a, I'd say a Bitmain like S19J Pro. It's not like those S21 XPs where they have like 140 mil fans. Uh, these are 120 mil fans and they're using the new four pin fan. Uh, headers here for power. Okay, we've seen that on the latest uh, Bitmain models as well and also some uh, what's miners as well. Now for the power they have the new P13 revision power input P14 to P13 Okay, and then it goes for plugging into the PDU. It's a C19. Okay, so I am gonna plug that into my PDU here Yeah, let's just do one final uh, circle here just so you guys can see the back Okay, the back to 120 mil fans. It's nice that the fan plugs are right in the back here, so it's actually very easy to service uh, this Seal Miner A2. You don't have to take out the control board, which actually, you know what? It looks pretty easy to uh, take out the uh, control board. So you know what? I, I said I was gonna take it apart in like a live stream or a video, and uh, let me just do this in real time right now, because it looks like it's pretty easy uh, to take this out. Now these screws, okay, oh, there you go. I was just able to uh, unscrew it and pull this and I can just easily lift it up. Oh, that is smooth. Oh, that is very smooth, very smooth lid uh, mechanism. It's not like the bit mains where you had one screw in the middle, you had to unscrew it. The little tiny screw which I drop and lose all the time and then there's like a button you lift it up. So here is the top of the seal miner. Uh, A2 here. I'm not an ASIC board repair person, but yeah, for anyone that wants to see here, okay, Ethernet is over here. That micro SD slot was here. IP report and the reset button uh, was right there, okay? So then the fan power looks like we have here for the front. And how does the back fan power work? Okay, so I see it's plugged in through the back here like this. There's two different cables. Uh, power fan power cables. It looks simply like a female to male extension uh, for the fan power here going into the control board. Okay, that's pretty cool. Looks like we have a power supply connection here, which just eyeing it looks like uh, my fan plugs aren't in all the way. I'm gonna push that in a little bit more. Okay, that feels a little bit better. And we got a ribbon cable here, and then we have three ribbon cables for three hash boards. That's pretty typical of like I've seen in like Bitmain models and other ASIC miners out there. What does this say? I know some control boards say like zinc. This says Pango. Looks like the manufacturer on this board was 2024, November 9th. Here's the bus bars, okay. That's uh, connected to the uh, three boards here. Looks pretty nice actually, looks pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, in another video, I will take this apart, we'll slide out a board and see what it looks like. I wanna turn this thing on. Okay, let me slide back the uh, top cover here. Gotta get it over the fans here, it was stuck. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the uh, cover slides in just perfect. Nice and, nice and simple, nice and easy. Okay, just gonna screw it in just a little bit because I know I'm gonna take it off again. All right, Seal Miner A2, first time power on, let's do it. Quick pause, comment down below if you guys want to win these RPM stickers. We've got a hollow, got a regular RPM sticker and a smaller one. And just comment down below your guys' thoughts of the BitDeer Seal Miner A2. All right, let me know your thoughts down below. I'll choose the winner after 24 hours.
Love my hollow sticker. Okay, back to the video. Let me get an ethernet cable here. Let's plug this in first. Then I'm gonna plug in the uh, P13 end, okay, into the seal miner. Line up the green to green. There we go, okay. Now the other end, I'm gonna plug into the PDU. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm curious how loud this thing's gonna be. Oh, this thing's loud. Well, first time, first time turn on, it'll be loud. Okay, now it's really quiet. Okay, so it's just starting up. It's whisper quiet <laughs> for now. Looks like it's not drawing much. First time turn on. Okay, I'm gonna get the IP address and uh, let's configure it. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, you guys could probably hear it in the background, I'm sorry. All right, I use Advanced IP Scanner to get the IP. It does have a host name of Seal Miner, which is great. So I put that in the IP at the browser at the top, 10, 100, 100, 138 for me. So reading the manual, I believe the password default username and password is gonna be Seal, and password is Seal. <laughs> it's not your typical root and like root root or admin admin. So Seal, Seal. Okay, and I am in. Oh, look at this. This looks pretty cool. Okay, so the web GUI here. Looks like we got LED control at the top. I see the LEDs are working now when I click it off. Now it's not working. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then we have mining status of normal, network status, ambient temp, PSU, fan control. Oh, ambient temp is nice. And then we actually have, uh, oh, uh-oh. Looks like we had some error code. Delete error code, add error code. Whoa, what does that mean? All right, but uh, hash rate chart. Okay, let's go to minor config. And okay, so I obviously don't have anything here. Ooh, input power, 4,300 watts. Uh, right now, yeah, it doesn't have any uh, information here. So oh, it looks like it auto-populates a couple pools. Interesting, that's a very interesting. Pool in, F2 pool, and pool. Okay, uh, right now it's pulling 251 watts at the wall, just idling. All right, so let me put my information in. Okay, I put my info in. I'm using Mining Dutch here because that's where a majority of my Bitcoin miners are right now. And just to show you here, I do have a few Bitcoin miners uh, that are being hosted right now. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, there's work mode, low power mode. Oh, nice, normal mode and high performance. Ah, that's very nice. So normal mode. Uh, if it does 37, 29 watts, uh, it's supposed to get 16.5 joules per terahash. So that's pretty much in line with almost a, a Bitmain S21 Plus. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Confirm save. Config success, reboot miner. Yeah, okay, yeah, it just turned off. So it's rebooting itself, it's resetting right now. Okay, so while it's doing that, I just wanted to currently look at the profitability. I know Bitcoin right now is 111,000 as of recording. And so at 10 cent kilowatt hour, this thing's making $4.68 a day currently. Obviously, that, will, that could change uh, for the worse or better if Bitcoin's price goes higher or if the Bitcoin network hash rate goes higher. But at my electrical rate, this thing's making about $7. But free electric would be like $13, okay? So it's pretty decent. And the price of this right now in Crypto Miner Bros is $36.49. Uh, now, if you decide to buy one of these, you can use code REDPANDA for 70 bucks off if you're interested. They are available with a week delivery. All right, so Seal Miner A2. So now, I don't know how reliable this brand is, okay? Bitdeer or Desiwi Miner, it is, you know, a new company, relatively, and so I don't know the longevity or the reliability of these new Seal Miner A2s. And yeah, look at that, it's just screaming right now. Okay, so it's at 602 watts right now. I just wanna see this thing. Okay, now I can, looks like I can, log, I can log in again. Let's log in, log in. And all right, it's booting up. It says normal, the firmware here, April 3rd, I believe. Control board is a Taurus underscore air. I've never heard of that before. Okay, now I don't see my connection to the pool. Okay, it looks like it's just rebooting. My mining config is still here. So that is good. I see it creeping up in power consumption right now. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time here and I'll see you guys back out. Okay, I just wanted to record this. It's been about three minutes and it's been slowly ramping up and in the web GUI, it has been showing the power rise every couple hundred watts, also the uh, hash rate as well. So it's not at its 200 uh, terahash yet, 
but it is climbing, okay? So as well as the, the sound has actually died down, okay? So the initial startup was definitely really loud. So it's pretty quiet right now starting up, okay? After I put in the pool settings and everything, we're at 2,900 watts right now. I'm still waiting for this thing to go up to like 3,700, 3,800 around there. So I think it's still, it's still booting up here. Judging by the uh, hash rate, I don't believe I selected low power mode, which I do want to try later. Okay, right now we're just on normal, right? So we're going to leave that be. Okay, so I'm going to give this a bit more time. It is connected to the pool. I am getting accepted shares and whatnot. And it says tune status. So it is tuning right now, three minutes in. It says course tuning. Okay, so that is pretty cool. There's the fan speeds, there's the power voltage and whatnot. I really like, I really like the web GUI of the BitDeer Seal Miner A2 here. It's actually, it's actually pretty cool. And yeah, right now it's, it's quiet right now, which is pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a couple more minutes. Looks like it is climbing up in power. So we'll give it a couple more minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, just wanted to keep on documenting here as it's turning on. So 14 minutes in, and I also did look, there is a log, okay, it's called actually process, and yeah, there's actually a log here to see what's going on as well. Thought I'd show you guys that, but also under uh, maintenance, there is a few different options. You can stop mining, you can restart mining, reboot, and recovery. So pretty cool, it has a bunch of good metrics here. I, I really like this uh, BitDeer seal miner web GUI. The biggest thing actually I like is also the ambient temperatures. It's 27 uh, degrees Celsius, which is pretty much pretty much where I'm at 26 uh, according to my thermometer, about a, you know two feet away. So yeah, it's pretty close. But also shows the temperatures of the PCB. All right, so that's actually really good, really good to know. So yeah, it's actually it's really not loud right now. It's pretty quiet. But the power consumption, okay, 15 minutes in, we're at 3786, 87. Okay, and the hash rate that we are getting currently in terms of real time, it says 220 terahash, okay, 221 average, all right? So it is still creeping up here, 16 minutes in, and it does still say tuning, uh, course tuning, so it is, yeah, I believe it's still tuning. So still gonna leave it here for a bit more, well, I'll come back and see when it's all fully tuned, I guess, all right? So pretty cool, there's the efficiency as well. I love that. Okay, 30 minutes in, and it looks like it's pretty much stabilized between what their advertised hash rate was, 228 terahash. It says I'm at 231 now. Average though, it's been 226. Okay, and temperature over the past 30 minutes, I mean, it is pretty much the same. My ambient is climbing, of course. I don't have the perfect environment to do this test. It should be on my ASIC shelf. So, but otherwise, yeah, the, the noise level actually on this thing is, it's pretty quiet. It's really not that bad, actually. And uh, here's the power consumption. Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit higher than what it is, though it does say uh, we did see before that it was doing a coarse tuning. Now it says it's doing fine tuning. It looks like we have a bit of an uh, issue here. Uh, it's actually been 30 minutes, not three minutes. So I think that's a little bit of a glitch there, 31 minutes now. But uh, yeah, it says fine tuning. So it's still going, still tuning. But otherwise, it's been, it's been hashing pretty good. Inlet temp, outlet temperature in Celsius, yeah, fine tuning on all three hash boards. So this BitDeer Seal Miner A2, I have to say, I, I really like the uh, build quality. I know we looked inside at the top here, it actually looked pretty clean, pretty good, pretty well built, and just feeling the miner, the paint job, I, I love it. I love the powder coated feeling here. Okay, so I wanna let this run for maybe another hour. I wanna see when this fine tune thing ends. All right, so be right back. Okay, wanted to record this. After six minutes, there is now a hash board that says it is done fine tuning. Okay, uh, are, so, okay, sorry, all of them are now finally done fine tuning. Maybe a minute ago, I did see the last one, uh, the last board, it said fine tuning done, but now it looks like the other two is done. So it looks like the fine tuning overall is done after about 36 minutes in. 
it is done. Now it is showing at the mining pool level as well. Okay, so seal miner 01 on mining Dutch for me shows right there. Granted, 186, so gonna give that obviously 24 hours. It should average out 230 something. Okay, so yeah, all right. Yeah, guys, this is great. It's the seal miner A2. I really, I, I, I really like this unit. And for the price as well, we didn't talk about the price. It's about 36. 49 or 36.50. It's got a pretty good dollar per hash at uh, $16 and 15 cents per hash If we were to compare it roughly, uh, you know dollar per hash maybe similar to what's minor uh, Avalon 1566 s21 pluses now I don't know the repairability, you know availability for repair for the seal miner a2s Okay, or for BitDeer in general. Now we all know Bitmain has a lot of repair senders all over the place. So I'm not quite sure regarding BitDeer's repair process if these fail. But yeah, so far, yeah, 36, 37 minutes in, I'm at 3,900 watts now. So if the fine tuning is done, I guess my ambient temperature does play the part. The environment definitely does play the part. So this isn't doing 37, 30 you know, 3,700 watts as what was advertised. I'm doing 3,897, okay? So at my ambient of about 27, and it is climbing, because granted, again, my, my environment here is not really perfect. I gotta put this on my ASIC shelf to really see how it goes. But otherwise, it feels nice. It feels well built. I truly like the ease ability to change the fans because the plugs are just right here. You don't have to open up the top. You can just change the fans right on the outside there. I think I'm gonna buy like, I don't know, maybe three or four more and get them hosted. And I can update you guys on the reliability of these and see how my experience goes. With the Seal Miner A2, but so far it feels feels pretty nice. I like the web GUI. It's got a lot more metrics and it's generally quiet as well. If you had cheap electric at home, I could honestly say this would be a, a great option because it's really, it's really not that, it's really not that loud. Yeah, 70 decibels, just a couple feet away. And if I stand back like 10 feet, it's really not that bad. It's it's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you to CryptoMinerBros.com. If you guys are interested in one of these BitDeer Seal Miner A2s, link down below. Use code REDPANDA for 70 bucks off if you're interested. Thank you, Crypto Miner Bros. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Again, for the RPM sticker giveaway, give your thoughts of the BitDeer Seal Miner A2 down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out, peace out.